Hello and welcome to Luzerne County Community College and the Dating Game. Happy Valentine's Day, or as many of us know it, Singles Awareness Day. I'm your host, Nick Hughes, and this is the game show where an LCCC student gets to ask some interesting questions of three classmates and then pick one lucky person who will accompany them on date. Let's get started and meet our bachelors. Bachelor number one is a hopeless romantic who enjoys walks on the beach, sea breezes, and a good stiff tropical drink. Unfortunately, since we are about three hours away from the ocean here in Natty Coke, you can usually find him in the atrium of the Advanced Technology Center, one of the infamous members of the group that has come to be known as the Couch Kids. Here is Pittston native, Al. Next, our second bachelor can be seen hanging around the student center cafeteria during lunch hour. His favorite meals are tacos, pizza, and the salad bar. Anytime you hear a ukulele, you are sure to find this gentleman just tuning along. Lovingly referred to as Mick Beard, here's Johnny. And if grades were money, bachelor number three would be a millionaire. He carries a 4.0 GPA, and he is majoring in sports management with a minor in Arabics. He has a talent for stretching the truth, just as we heard there, but he's a pretty nice guy. Let's welcome Sean. Well, there are the bachelors who will be vying for the attention of our lovely bachelorette. We'll be taking a break, and when we come back, we'll meet our female contestant. Don't go away. More from the dating game coming up. It's Valentine's Day, so head up to the third floor of the Student Center to Phi Theta Kappa's Bake Sale and get your lovers some sweet nuts, love potion number nine, or maybe a gourmet dog biscuit. Show him or her how much you really care now. Ah, ah. Mm, mm, mm. And welcome back to the dating game here on Valentine's Day on the campus of Luzerne County Community College. Well, you've met our bachelors. Now let's meet our bachelorette. Our bachelorette has a perky personality and didn't have to be asked twice to be on the show. A native of the exciting town of Shikshini, this general studies major can be seen on campus hanging out with their friends, taking such interesting courses as life, death, and dying. Sounds like a fun person, right? Let's welcome our bachelorette, Amanda. Now, Amanda, tell us a little bit about yourself and why you are brave enough to put yourself through this experience. Um, I'm 18 and I was actually born in Brooklyn, New York, not Shikshini, thankfully. And um, it just seemed like it might be a good idea. There was not really any motivation behind this at all. Okay, well, let's get the ball rolling here. Have a seat and we will uh, ask him some questions. Go right ahead. Um, these are my measurements, 32, 26, 34. What do we have in common? Contestant two. Um, well, your measurements happen to be a little, a little smaller than my measurements, so I'd say I have the bigger frame here. But, um, seem like some good numbers. need to bring up the audio in the studio. Um, contestant three. My roommate and I might install closed circuit TV. What would you do knowing that our time together was televised? Hmm. That's a really good question. I would do nothing. I would just watch. Like a voyeur, creepy and all. <laughs> Contestant one. Yes. Pretend that your mother pretend that you're your mother and answer this question. Is your son normal? No. <laughs> Not at all. Contestant three, how would you answer that question? I would say my son was flawless. How would your mother answer that question? My mother would also say that my son was flawless. Um, contestant two, let's hear your best ending for this sentence. 
I'll do anything for you except. I won't do that. <laughs> Contestant number one. If you were ice cream, what flavor would you be? Chocolate chip cookie dough. Why? It's a good flavor. I like it. Contestant number two. If you were a candy, would you be a good and plenty, a sugar daddy, or a Mr. Good Bar, and why? Uh, a Mr. Good Bar, because I'm rather nutty. <laughs> Contestant three. How would you answer that question? Oh, dear. Well, I'm not old enough to be a sugar daddy. And I wasn't really listening for the other two. <laughs> a good and plenty, a sugar daddy, or a Mr. Good Bar? Ooh. I, I'd say good and plenty, because it's not the only one that's not taken yet. <laughs> Contestant number one. If you were an animal, what would you be? If I was an animal, I would have to be a bird. Why? Because birds are free, and who doesn't like birds? Contestant number two. I take you out for a meal, and when the check arrives, I realize I've left my wallet in my other jacket. What do you do? Hope I have my wallet on me. I, <laughs> I hope my wallet's there, and so I can cover that. If not, I probably wash dishes for a while. <laughs> Contestant number three. I'm explaining to you how something works, but you know I've got it completely wrong. What do you do or say? Well, I would tell you that you are wrong, and I will show you the proper way to do it. In the nicest way possible, of course. Contestant number one. If you could be stuck on a desert island with anyone, who would you pick? Someone who knows how to make a boat. <laughs> <laughs> Contestant two, how would you answer that question? Um, I would say someone who's very resourceful, so probably someone who's been on Survivor. Get a lot of food out of it, you know. Maybe build a nice hut. Know how to filter water. Be a good time. Contestant number three, if you could pick only one, which would you be? Attractive, rich, or famous? Well, I don't know. I guess I would rather be famous. Why? I think it'd be fun to just be uh, noticed everywhere you go and to constantly have paparazzi following you and to just enjoy the glamorous life. It could be a good time. Contestant number two, do you squeeze the toothpaste from the middle or the end? It uh, depends the day of the week. If it's, if it's early in the week, I'll squeeze from the end, but towards the middle of the week, I get lazy and just wherever I squeeze from. Contestant number one, how would you answer that question? Um, squeeze from the middle. Contestant number one, do you have any unique talents, like being able to lick your elbow? <laughs> I wish I could lick my elbow, but sadly I cannot. Do you have any um, other unique talents? I play guitar and ukulele, and stuff like that. Contestant number two, do you have any unique talents? Uh, I play ukulele, and I'd say I'm rather poetic at times, but physical talents, I, I can't think of anything right now. How about you, contestant number three? I have no talent. <laughs> <laughs> honest man, honest man. <laughs> um, Contestant number two, if you could travel anywhere in the world right, right this second, where would you go? Oh, that's easy, Ireland. I just want to go to the rolling hills, you know, maybe test out some micro brews <laughs> and just, just relax, relax in like a nice meadow and stare up at the sky for hours. Contestant number one, how would you answer that question? I would like to go to Japan because Japan's a pretty cool place. Good technology, nice place. What is the one thing about yourself you would like me to know, contestant number three? That I am awesome and I'm a fun time. How about you, contestant number two? I have an awesome beard. <laughs>
Contestant number one, what, 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 what's one thing about you you would like me to know? Hmm. Well, number one, he has an awesome beard. And <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I can play guitar. Is there anything you haven't said in another question yet? Because you said that. True. Hmm. I do karate. <laughs> Contestant number three. What is the one thing, what is one adjective a close friend would use to describe you? Oh my god. Ah. Uh, that would require close friends, number one. <laughs> <laughs> But if I had these, uh, these non-imaginary friends, they would probably describe me as spunky. Contestant number one, do you have any pet peeves? Hmm. Yes, it would have to be when somebody cannot make up their mind. <laughs> Contestant number two, do you have any pet peeves? Uh, just small ones when like small things are out of order, not significant things. Like if significant things are out of order, it doesn't bother me. But when there's tiny minute details out of order, yeah, that kind of gets to me. How about you, contestant number three? Well, I don't like when people crack their knuckles. I'm expecting one. I, I was expecting that, of course. I hate when people don't use turn signals when driving. I hate when they do, when they pull out in front of you and then they go slow. And people who don't know how to use the passing lane correctly. Say those are it. Contestant number three. Have you ever talked your way out of a speeding ticket? I've never gotten a ticket, so I've, I guess, I guess I, I've gotten pulled over. I got pulled over for stopping at a green light in Ohio, but that's, that was on my own stupidity. I told the guy I was from Pennsylvania, and then he's like, oh, okay, that makes sense. And, <laughs> and, and, it pretty much told me just to get where I was going and get some sleep, so. Contestant number two. If you could be anyone, famous or not, for a day, who would it be and why? Uh, Zach Galifianakis, because I think the man is hilarious and he's a genius. And he knows everyone is just really jealous because they want to be him. How about you, contestant number one? I would have to say Robert Downey Jr. because he's Iron Man and because he's also hilarious, and Iron Man. <laughs> um, trying to find what I didn't ask. Contestant number three, what do you do for fun? <laughs> what don't I do for fun? I, uh, you know, I, I, love, I love going to karaoke. That's my, my guilty pleasure. I, uh, you know, songs that I shouldn't be singing are the ones I sing. Okay. Contestant number one. If we got into an argument, how would we settle it? Um, you win. It's <laughs> a good choice. How about you, contestant number two? Same answer. The women always win. Um, contestant number two. What is something I should know about you that I'd never think to ask? Um, I mean, if you never saw a picture of me, you wouldn't know that I have blue eyes with a brown stripe on my right one. Contestant number one. Hmm. Um, that I am partially colorblind. Contestant number three. How would you describe your appearance? I would say that I look, I look like a more attractive version of a monkey. <laughs> Contestant number one, which of your physical features would you say people most notice about you? That would have to be my hair. Contestant number two, you gave someone your phone number. When do you think they'll call? Maybe. Oh man. Uh, I always tell them to call me maybe, but um, 
people call me randomly, and a lot of times it's just text. So I'm usually just expecting a phone call whenever. If not, it doesn't happen. Contestant number one, what kind of dates are you into? What kind of what? Dates. Dates. Go to the movies, go to a concert, go out for dinner, and just regular dates. Contestant number two, what kind of dates are you into? Uh, just anything that's hanging out with the person so I get to know them. Not necessarily a movie, because you don't really get to know someone there, because you're both kind of sitting there and just watching something happen over and over again. And the only really time you have to talk is in the beginning or the end of the movie. Or you could be those rude people who talk throughout the whole movie. Contestant number three. I love having fun, so I'm all into stupid things like laser tag, go-karts, maybe whitewater rafting, just adventurous or stupid fun things that, you know, are not ordinary. Contestant number one. Your first date is going well, but then there's suddenly silence. What do you do? Say something to break the silence. <laughs> Contestant number two. If a relationship does not work out for you, how do you usually end it? Ah, uh, usually let her down softly, you know. It's, it's not working out, I'm sorry. Let's still be friends, some of that. <laughs> Contestant number three, what is the most exciting purchase you've made this year? Oh, dear. Uh, <laughs> I can't answer that here. <laughs> what is the most exciting, exciting school appropriate <laughs> thing you have brought this year. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> I really, I, I haven't really bought anything in 2013, so maybe a bowling ball. Contestant number one, what is something most women don't understand about men? There's a lot of things. There's a lot of things I can go on for a while about. Pick one. Hmm. Why we love video games so much. Contestant number two. Um, I would have to go back to the beard answer here on this one. Uh, some women like it. A lot of women don't like it. Most women don't know why. How about you, contestant number three? Let's see, I think the thing that most women wouldn't understand about men is our competitive, competitiveness and why we love to compete against each other and the whole, the, whole, the whole reason that it drives us to want to win. I don't think a lot of women understand that. Contestant number two, what is your most embarrassing moment? Oh man, I've had a ton of these. Um, I guess the one was caught on film, and it was when I was younger, and um, I, was, uh, I was really young. I had one of those uh, uh, trucks that you sit in, but it's like electric, and I was doing that, and my dad used to always golf, so I had like a golf club in the back and a golf ball, and I put the golf ball down to go to hit it, and it started rolling, so I started chasing it down a hill, and I tripped and landed face first into some dog crap. That was, <laughs> that was pretty embarrassing. How about you, contestant number one? I don't know if anything can top that, but I've probably multiple times just fallen flat in my face. That'd probably be pretty embarrassing. Contestant number three, what is your best pickup line? My best pickup line? Oh dear. Um, I would say... Your phone's broken, my number's not in it. How about you contestant number two? Oh man. Um, I think Carly Ray said it best. So here's my number, so call me maybe. <laughs> and contestant number one? Thousand pound penguin. All right, we had some pretty interesting answers, and when we return, our bachelorette Amanda will be picking her date here on the Dating Game Show from Luzerne County Community College. 
Hello, it's Valentine's Day, so head up to the third floor of the Student Center's online Data Campus Bake Sale and get your lover some sweet nuts, love potion number nine, or maybe a gourmet dog biscuit. Show him or her how much you really care now. All right, the love meter is just about to go off. Amanda, which bachelor did you pick? Um, bachelor number two. All right, now a very exciting time. And let's meet the two bachelors that you didn't choose. Bachelor number one. Bye, I'm out. All right, and the next one? Bachelor number three. Hello. Hi. Nothing to say. <laughs> okay, it's that time now, Amanda. Let's meet your date. Hi, John. All right, what do you guys think? Uh, you know, a nice dinner afterwards? Sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, let's get a little bit of about more about you, John. Uh, why do you think you guys would be a good couple? Uh, I think it would just be fun to go out. I like meeting anybody, so it'll be a nice time. Nice, good time meeting, getting to know someone new. Okay, and how about you, Amanda? Were you surprised uh, that you picked him? or? Uh, not now that I know who it is, not very surprised. <laughs> All right, well, there it is. We have Amanda and John, the dating game champions.